<laughs> Hello, everybody. I don't know if you can hear me or see me. I have a gig, gig, giggling friend, Tracy, traveling granny, sitting next to me. Should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, turn the volume off. Okay. I had to have her turn the volume off on hers. Otherwise, you, you'll you get an echo, I think. I don't know. Anyhow, so tonight, this is going to be very, very casual. I'm not, not sure how this is going to go. Let's say hello to a few people while I'm thinking about it. I mess. We we've been having a good time today. I'm kind of giggly too. <laughs> so there's a lot of people here already. First, before I greet anybody, I want to apologize. Fan Life with Jeannie Payne is going is live at eight o'clock. I apologize. I didn't think about that when I said it this live stream. I was so excited about the documentary and all the things that it has caused for me um, that I just wasn't thinking. I normally would never step on another YouTuber in my community on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose, but I did do it. So please, yeah, I understand if you feel you need to go over and see Gina, but I just want to talk about the documentary. So let's say hello to a few people. And I did send her an email apologizing to her. So let's see. We as we started out with Lynn Bardell. She is in the UK. So I don't know if she's still here. She commented way earlier. She's like six or seven hours difference. Uh, so I want to thank Philip Cardinal for his super chat. It's actually super sticker. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So then Aaron Jamison is always here for me. He's a, such a good friend, a great moderator, and he helps me a lot. So thank you. Thrift to the Angela. Hello. I'm stuttering a little bit today. Uh, Beverly Seifert is from Missouri. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. I, I will tell everybody how to watch that documentary in a few minutes. Um, let's see who else. Of course, Traveling Granny is here, and I just added her as a moderator. So thank you, Tracy. Uh, yeah. Camping Therapy is here. Um, Aaron, okay, looks like uh, Philip, Philip Cardinal is still here. Okay. Uh, Johnny's Journey. Hello, Johnny. Thank you for being here. Another great friend. I have so many friends on YouTube. <laughs> I can't tell you what that means to me. Linda Barker, another one. Everybody here's my friend, I guess, <laughs> really. Um, so, Gracie Seeking Adventures. Man, how am I going to mod two lives coming on same time? I know. I apologize so much, Gracie. I didn't realize. I just wasn't thinking when I set this up. So, if you need to go and moderate for her, I have plenty of moderators here today, and I do understand. So, let's see. Lisa Crane from England. Thank you for coming. Wanda Hutchins, hello. She's from Arizona. Uh, let's see who else. And Hybrid Life. She says, hey, everyone, I just watched the, watched the documentary an hour ago. Dee was pretty awesome in it, just like in real life. <laughs> oh, thank you, John. <laughs> I appreciate that comment. So let's see. RV Grandma is here. She watched it. So if anybody hasn't seen the documentary, that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And I would appreciate questions towards the end. I'll tell you when I'm ready, when I run out of things to say. <laughs> then I can see the QQQ in front of your questions. I would love to answer questions tonight. I don't really always am not always able to follow the chat closely when they have a lot of people in here, but I'm going to try tonight. Happy place camping hello. And uh, let's see. So I think Anne, my sister Anne Holland is here. Hello, Anne. Let's see. I, you know, I sometimes call her Anne and sometimes call her Annie. 
that's what we always called her as growing up and I still call her Annie when I see her, but her name is Anne. So <laughs> I'm glad you're here, sis. Folk of the Forest is here. That is Helen. Thank you. Hello. Um, that's okay. Thank you, Gracie. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm pretty much caught up there a little bit. Let's see, it just now showed Philip Cardinals. In fact, let me place this, this for Philip. Hang on. Play a little goody, goody clip. Let's see. Let's try this. One right here. Okay, so let's go back to the comments. So Van Life Voyages is here, Tanya. Um, if people don't know who Van Life Voyages is, this is Tanya and Derek. My friends were also in the documentary, Tanya and Derek. Derek is in the hospital right now with a broken leg. He broke his leg while in the wheelchair. So they could use some prayer warriors for that. And Mary Jones is here, too. Um, let's see. Rocky the Rock. Hi, D.Y. Wow, I love you, girl. Man, you're an amazing person. <laughs> I love you. So proud of you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Rocky. <clears throat> so let's see. And Michelle Eldridge is here. Thank you for coming. Oops. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> A Star Griffin. Hello. Lisa Crane, um, who else? Nancy Campus and Brad McWork are here tonight. If anybody's new to my channel, please type new in the chat so that my friends here will greet you and make you feel welcome. So let's see who else. Mm, um, okay, I think we're getting caught up. We have about 60 people in the chat. Uh, Tanya, if you have anything to share in the chat, let people know how Derek is doing, please. Um, <clears throat> ben does. Yes, Lisa, he does. I've watched quite a few of his uh, documentaries, and he has a great series called New Lives in the Wild. Deborah, hello. Um, so what I'm going to say is I did Ben... Vogel is a well-known presenter. We call them actors here in the U.S. He's a very well-known presenter in the U.K. And everybody knows him there. And he does a series called New Lives in the Wild for TV. A TV series in the U.K. on Channel 5 on the BBC Network. And Ben came to be the presenter of My Nomad Life in here in the Arizona and he had, we had a crew, and he spent a week with me and living with me, basically, sleeping in my car, taking showers in a private shelter, a privacy shelter, and doing what we do to use the facilities outdoors and in buckets and what have you. <clears throat> so he really learned a lot about nomad life, and it's all covered in the documentary. And if, if anybody has not seen the documentary, I believe Aaron has the link. He can put it in the chat. Here's the way that it will go. You can click on the link and it probably will ask you for a password. The password is pictures, P-I-C-T-U-R-E-S. So we have to be careful not to put too much in the uh, live stream because I don't know what YouTube is going to say anyhow. But anyhow, Ben Folk is a great, very well uh, known and very professional. Does a great job of making people feel comfortable. He spent a whole week with me. He made me feel so comfortable with, with him. I became a friend with him. We had a good friendship. And he said, I actually shared this documentary and my YouTube channel out all over the YouTube 
uh, and Instagram and uh, I don't know whatever the what are other social media. So since I the documentary came out yesterday at 8 p.m. UK time, which was two o'clock our time, I have already my channel has grown well over 3,000 new subscribers. So I want to thank everybody for coming and sharing and watching the videos and documentary and ha oh man <laughs> I can't believe it <laughs> I don't even know what to say I'm so overwhelmed I'm nervous because I'm very overwhelmed with everything that's happening so hang on I have a question from Johnny but <laughs> QQ how many Advil did Ben need after sleeping in the car <laughs> That's a good question. It's cute because he said he had acknowledged it wasn't that comfortable the first night, but we set up the bed and the mattress after that. He did okay. <laughs> I know he was cramped up for sure. He would never admit it. He's that kind of man. <laughs> Hello, White Horse Theology. Glad you're here. Van City Adventures is here. Um, Happy Place Camping, B&D Crafts, and more is here. And I probably missed some, but Up To No Good is here. I didn't see anybody type new. A to Z Dan is here. I probably missed them, but uh, yeah, I saw it. He said, oh, Up To No Good saw it. Okay, okay let's see. D. Blair Gold. Um, so, so, yes, I when I, when the, with the documentary, can you, can the, Link. I can try, but I'd let's. Yeah, I'm not sure how. I can't do it actually because I can't have the YouTube side and the StreamYard side open. If I do, I will lose my internet. Unfortunately, the internet is not very good. Maybe I can pin your comment. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Nope. I can't. Let me try to, I can try to open the YouTube side. Let's see. Hang on. Bear with me, people. Hey, I'm not good at this stuff at all. Okay, let's see. Go here. I have to make sure I turn the volume. There we go. Let's turn the volume off. Okay, let's see if I can find this. Here we go. Okay, let's pin this. There we go. Let me know if it didn't get pinned or something. So it should be in there. Um, uh, okay, I think it did. All right, so there we go. So did it get pinned as far as you can tell or hearing? Right okay, me. so yeah, the crew was wonderful. And Dan got to meet the crew. A to Z, Dan says he agrees um, with the, that. So, <laughs> crew is top notch. I've ta been talking to the director who, who actually produced the film, uh, along with his friend Neve, and uh, we had a great film crew. We had a great micro microphone crew. Those uh, that did the drone footage and the F. I can't tell you how they all work together with me and everything. And I do have some short video clips of the crew. I will be putting out a video eventually here in the next week or so, uh, showing some of the things I got on video, but I was so nervous and excited and so busy that I didn't really have the time to do a whole lot while they were here. Um, so. Okay, so um, let's see. I had some thoughts. I did want to share with you. I have got hundreds and hundreds of comments from people from the UK congratulating me and telling me how much they enjoyed the video, uh, the documentary and everything. And it does my heart so good. I tell you, I just... I'm like I said, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you, Joy Blessed Life. Um, let's see. So, 
I never understand. I see White Horse said something, and I think it's emojis, but I'm not sure what those little letters are. I assume those are emojis. And so, yes, yeah, so when I when they did the documentary, when it came out at 2 o'clock yesterday, I was at 16,600 subscribers. Right now, I have, hang on, I'll tell you. So right now I have 21,904 subscribers. So that brought my channel up over 3,000 subscribers. So, yes, I can't believe it. I did think I would get to 20,000 by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see. So men, oh, Johnny says, Men can be fussy about no sleep. He seemed pretty calm. Was that just good editing? Well, he acknowledged that he he was okay. <laughs> That's pretty much. He acknowledged kind of subtly that it was not that great. <laughs> but he did like the coffee. <laughs> so, okay. At this point, if anybody has questions for me... um. Type QQQ in the chat. Thank you, Dirk. Thank you, Dirk. He said I earned the subscribers. <laughs> That's another great supporter. Oops. Hi, Debbie P. So, um, Lily Gazoo. I guess she's at 500 subscribers. So, she could use some subscribe, subscribers, people. Um, so I do, do see another question. Let's see, it says, how did the production company get in touch with you? I probably shared it a little bit about it before, but apparently, um, well, they knew about the Nomad Land and they saw in my box truck in the opening uh, of the PBS uh, production they did on the Nomad Land movie. And I guess they knew about me through cheap RV living and what have you and uh the last year before last they had the van built in the parker they sent a scout out i thought he was actually gonna do something and he spent a whole day with me walking around following me and filming me, me and asking me a lot of questions then i never really heard anything and all of a sudden a few months back sometime probably in october i got an email from somebody through the Renegade Films, who wants to want to be able to get in touch with me talking about doing a documentary of my life. And I was so surprised. And then, then they started contacting me on a regular basis. We had conversations in private streams, probably once a week for a couple months. And then they said they're going to send somebody out. And then they set up the whole thing. So... So let's see what little pissy Willie Mike says. <laughs> he says, if you get 90 thumbs up, 90 thumbs up, will you hand out any wrenches? Asking for a friend. I don't know who you're asking for, Mike, but uh, <laughs> the thumbs up is not how you get to be a moderator. <laughs> so hello, Angels Are We Nursery and other things. Let's see. I'm watching it now. Cool. Uh, D. Blair, that house, awesome. Little kazoo. So anyhow, then they. I guess they. That's what it was. He was a scout. I mentioned in one of my videos. His name was Sebastian, and so um, um, so he spent the day with me, and I thought it. it I never heard from him again, and I didn't understand why. He at least didn't contact me and say they're not going to do anything but anyhow so where did the crew sleep they slept in a hotel <laughs> actually <laughs> um they slept at the holiday uh, not the holiday i think it was the holiday in right there by the lake havasu um uh the near the bridge so oh, so Angel R. We Nursery says she's up to 915 on the way to 1K. So if anybody doesn't know her, go check out her channel. 
So we be careful about pro self promoting here, but people, it's okay today. I want to be a little loose. There are a lot, a lot of new people to my channel. It's appropriate if the a moder if the host or the channel person wants like me <laughs> or one of my moderators wants to promote a channel but it's better not to promote yourself get to know the people in the chat chat and they'll go check you out that's the best way to do it so and if, if i know you and i think your channel's good i will recommend you stephen w rockwood hello I'm, so I'm hang on hang on hang on yeah. I'm home and want to know, do they like the food? Okay. I'll get there, I'm sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, how do you, okay. So, my sister asked, this is from Ann Holland. She says, uh, how did they like the cooking? <laughs> I didn't do a lot of cooking. We uh, did bar barbecue hamburgers, but not for the crew. It's just for me and Ben. The crew left and then Ben stayed. <laughs> So um, the crew went to the hotel every night. I'm sure they love their food. <laughs> Most people on my channel know I don't do a lot of cooking. If I do do cook, it's usually if we have a group and we do a group barbecue or something like that. Or once in a while, I'll put it out a big pot of spaghetti or something for a few people. Uh, Thank you, Mike. Thank you. He says that's what's, what's one of the best documentaries he's seen. I've got a lot, a ton of comments like that, like that. Okay, how many days did it take to film the documentary? Actually, it took eight days total with the crew there was there a couple days before Ben got there. And so, yeah, so um, let's see what else. Old car junkie, hello. And Tracy, Tracy, I believe the uh, ocean fire's here. Um, <laughs> Tanya says, we were proud to have included such a great experience. And they did a great job, too. Lisa Zacharias is here. She's a newbie. Thank you for coming. Please, people, show her some love. Um, uh, let's see. So, so if anybody doesn't is unable to understand how to use that link. All they have to do is send me an email, dluckton1 at gmail.com. I think I have a banner. I can put it up for that. And just send me an email to that address right there and ask for the link, and I will be happy to send it. So there we go. Let's see. Almost hit in broadcast. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> so let's see. Um, yes, please greet the new people here. Hello, Jules the agent. And uh, oh, let's see. Badge is here. Badge everybody needs one is in Canada. And uh, thank you for being here, Badge. I want to play a couple of little things for people. People have been very kind to me, especially in the last few months. I have new members, members. I now have 42 members. The last two are not added to this little, uh, little clip, but I will get them on, on the next one. So let me share this with you for the new members. I do appreciate you for coming and joining my channel. Here we go. I think it's this one. Whoops. Uh, she, yeah, I think that's it right there.
this. So thank you so much for joining my channel as a member. And my channel is very simple. I don't give a whole lot. I give shout outs and recognition for the basic and silver memberships. If you're a gold member, I do offer you an opportunity to email me to do a short interview on one of my live streams. So I thank you for joining me and supporting the channel. Your money goes out to the channel. It helps me pay for the things that I use on the channel, like uh, StreamYard. Well, like I have a paid membership for YouTube. I use a paid uh, subscription to Canva to do the thumbnails and all the video and audio equipment I use, which is not much, but the phones and laptops and things like that. All right. So I do use the money you send me to keep my channel going. So I thank you so much. Also want to thank the people that have sent me Super Chats this past month. So this is for you. Thank you. This is slow. It's not working too good. Okay, so I also want to say thank you, Mary Jones. She just sent me a super chat. I appreciate that. And looks like I got a new member too, Brad McWork. Thank you for joining the membership program on my channel. Though, so thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, let's see. Uh, pictures. Be sure it has as on the end. Yes, and it doesn't. I don't think it's case sensitive, but just type the word pictures. Probably just small case is fine. So, Melody McMinn is here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, my sister said it makes sure it's lowercase. Lower so, that's good. Okay. And it does have the, have the S in the end. It's a plural word. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Did I develop a crush on that handsome man? He is a good looking man. I tell you what, it was if I was thirty years younger, yes, I would had definitely have a crush. But he is married and does have children, so I probably wouldn't would never even think about. <laughs> okay, let's move that. <laughs> so the whole crew was really good looking and really fun. I um I'm I do have pictures of the crew. I don't know if I can actually pull them up. I need to learn how to do that better on StreamYard because I have tons of pictures of people and I would love to share it, but every time I try to do it, it doesn't seem to work out when I try to pull them up. So let's see. That pop-up shower. Yes. That Papa shower was funny. When I saw it, I saw his feet at the bottom. So he's holding the or uh, the green pop-up shelter, walking around in circles, and he's showing his feet. And what they didn't put in the documentary documentary is me handing him a shovel to to tell him how to use the bathroom. <laughs> so that was fun, and I, it was cool in the in the documentary people. There's such good drone footage of the scenic area around Arizona where I live. And, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Melody McMinn, for join, joining my channel as a member. I appreciate that. So, I appreciate you joining all the people that have become members. I got, I got that. So, thank you. Um uh, the Papa shower was very funny. Um, so very scenic video uh, uh, footage of the area, lake around Lake Havasu and Quartzsite area. And it was exceptional a filming, film crew, very exceptional. And they worked with me very well. I probably, I told the story to some people already on one of my videos or live streams, but I'll share a little story with you tonight 
for those who haven't heard it. Uh, the 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 microphone guy, the name's uh, it's disappearing, but anyhow, the name I think Jackson was one of the film crew. Um, can't remember all the names. I will get that right next time. You, but my mind is just some it used to. <laughs> this is all I can say. I, I have a hard time with names. I remember faces, but not names so much. Uh, anyhow, so he was always telling me, "Be careful about the microphone. Don't you don't want to let it get wet." So he had always hooked it up if I could, if he could, on the front of me, but. A lot, oftentimes it got in the way of things, so I had to put it on my hip. So when I had to go to the bathroom, the microphone was hooked to my pants. <laughs> and I couldn't take the pants down without removing the microphone. So I thought, okay, you know, I'm a little, little joker anyhow sometimes. And so one day I had to use the bathroom. So I went into the truck. And I went to the front, to the door of the truck when I got done, done using the bathroom. Actually, I bumped the microphone as I'm getting my, my, my pants down. <laughs> so I thought, oh, man, this is going to be a good one. So I took the microphone off and did my pee and whatever. <laughs> and he got, got the microphone in my hand. And I walked to the door and I kind of hollered out the door. And the film, uh, the microphone guy was not standing there, but everybody else was. I said, oh, my God, how am I going to tell him I dropped the microphone in the toilet? <laughs> and they said, no. I said, I did. I saw I I didn't I couldn't help it. I got had to go to the bathroom. I couldn't get the pants down. <laughs> so, so I'm holding the microphone in my hand. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden he comes from his car and walks up to the group of course the rest of the crew already believed that I really did that okay so he gets there and I said you're not going to believe what I did I said I dropped the microphone in the toilet I'm almost in tears when I do this <laughs> he said no you didn't I said I did he said what did exactly did you drop it in? I said, it was just a little pee. I said, I got it out really fast. I only got the bottom of the microphone wet and I wiped it off really well. <laughs> and he go, oh my God, are you serious? I said, yes, here. <laughs> then I finally busted it up. I couldn't help it. And then everybody realized I was joking. He said, oh, that's not right. He said, you know what, D? I have you on microphone. In the in my truck, he said, I had the microphones on. I said, you did not. So he turned it around on me. <laughs> it was so funny. Then he took, said, he said, listen, you want to hear it? I said, did you get me peeing? He said, yeah. So he brought the headphones over and put it on my head. I heard, I heard everything I said to the crew, not, he didn't really have it on when I was going to the bathroom, but in, yeah, he got me back. It was so funny. <laughs> so let's see where we're at. So that's a story I thought I would share with you about the crew. That's for those people that never heard it. <laughs> he got me back. The, my dogs are just like yours. <laughs> So Melody said that. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. I'm probably missing everything. Did I say hello to Tracy Ocean Fire? Hope so. I'm glad you're here, hon. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Welcome in Lisa Zacharias. Yes, welcome. And uh, okay. Yes, Aaron. Thank you for telling everybody to put the QQQ in front of their questions. So, uh, let's see. Mm. Where are we at? I must be pretty far behind in the chat. I just realized because the new members are just now showing up on StreamYard. So, Lisa Crane. Ben's mom. 
is an actress and had lead role in the film Half a Sixpence with Tommy Steele back in the 60s. Ah, so that's where he gets it from, is his mother. Very cool. Man, he's a looker, I tell you. <laughs> he really is, really is a looker. Willard's Corner, hello. Let's see. Okay. Um, Camby Katie is here. Hello, Katie. I got to meet her at the meetup in a courtside here this past, in January. January, February, February. <laughs> I know I'm, I lost track of days and months. So let's see. Um, did I say thank you for joining me, Melody McMinn? I think I did. Thank you. Um, Wendy Wayner. <laughs> I think that's pr way pronounced Wendy Winner. 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 Um, Kaylee's here. Thank you, Kaylee, for being here. And Bandita Travels is here, Paula. And I did a tour of her ambulance. Please go and check that video out, people, and go check her channel out. Uh, she's a great, great new friend from Canada. Uh, yeah, she's been a friend for a while, but I finally got to meet her. Uh, oh, yeah, Aaron, I don't know how to bring that up, Aaron. I wonder if I can. He sent me a little, uh, uh, well, I guess it's a gift or a, like an icon and a logo that says, because of, because of the, in the documentary, I sang that little daiquiri, daiquiri, D or something when I gave Ben the strawberry daiquiri. So he made a little a picture of it with a daiquiri and it says daiquiri D. He thought I should have that put on my t-shirts. We'll see. Um, um, let's see. Um, I was waiting for the wind to pick up while he was in the pop-up shower. <laughs> I know if he did <laughs> believe it, it was good, would go off of him. <laughs> Because we did do get very strong winds winds around here. Um, let's see. What the heck? I'm not sure what that is. Thinks she knows, but D thinks she needs to offer us something of value to support her channel. Occasional PayPal gift is best. Oh, thank you, Helen. Well. I do feel I need, I owe my subscribers something, but I do, you do give all I have. I give everything from myself. I give myself a hundred percent to my channel and my friends. And if it, I have anything anybody needs and I can give it, believe me, I give it. I do what I can, but I, so I, I know I don't feel I give enough to my members and, people that people said that support my channel but that's all i can do so anyhow thank you helen for that comment um been melody been following for a very long time but i'm not in a good way but i want to be here so much so i hope to be able to upgrade soon oh don't worry about it just come that's all i ask of my members or it, the truth of the matter is everybody that comes to my channel is a member. But they have I do have some people that support me financially. That's the membership program, program at PayPal and Super Chats. But I don't expect anybody to do that. If they can afford it and they want to, I appreciate it. But I don't expect it. I'm grateful for you coming to my live stream. And even more so, come in to watch my videos, watching from the beginning to the end, because that does help my channel. It does matter. If you go to a video and you click in and click out, that doesn't really help a channel. But if you go in and actually watch a video, it helps a channel tremendously. So I'll just say that. Um, uh, let's see what else. Deborah says, waiting for something else to pop up. <laughs> About the pop-up tin, I guess. 
<laughs> oh man, I've been giggling all day with Tracy. She just bumped her head. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Elaine Johnson is here. Sorry, guys, I've been a little giddy. We played the ukulele together today. We didn't win out to eat. We worked on things around here. <laughs> it would have been a crazy, crazy actually two days. So Tracy's going to stay with me and we're going to head out to the Slap City on Friday morning together. Uh, yes, you do have a new family, Melody. Anybody that's here is family. Sound effects for potty. <laughs> I'll see. Uh, see what else yes he did camping therapy he did call me cheeky you guys have no idea the jokes we played back and forth <laughs> it was a lot of fun uh let's see okay, let's see i'm way behind am i gonna kind of scroll th through this a little faster so i can see where i'm at um Uh, Land Cloud Adventures is here. Nate, thank you for being here. <laughs> Let's see. Looking forward to your new video with Bob. Yes. Yeah, he should be putting that out pretty soon. I sent him the link to the documentary. So I wanted to make sure he got it. <laughs> oh, the quote that Ben says, Did you put lipstick on for me? <laughs> <laughs> because half the time, most of the time, they do, did the documentary. Everything was all of a sudden and then hurry up and wait. So sometimes I didn't get a chance to put lipstick on. I came out looking pretty old and haggard through a lot of it. But <laughs> I did say, yes, I did, Ben. <laughs> He's, he was funny. Elaine says she's older than me. Not much. I don't know. How, how old are you, Elaine? I think she might be 71 or 72. I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Doreen is here. Oops. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, we look over here. Let's tell everybody hello. She's working next to me, helping me. Just say hello. I don't know if I'm a help or a hindrance, but hello. <laughs> She's getting phone calls on her computer. I didn't even know you could get oh, phone God. calls on a computer. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you, Tracy, for helping me. So Karen Michelle is here, and she says, I follow you and live in Pennsylvania. You are awesome. Thank you for being here, Karen. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, let's see. So who somebody, somebody says hi from England. Nathan A Nathan A. Connor. O Connor. Hello from England. Thank you. Yes, Tracy's caught is in trouble again, Van Life Voyages. <laughs> Judy Smile is here. I think I'm just about caught up. I'll be darned. What time is it? 8.43. So, okay. Uh, Ra Raul, Raul Nicholson is here. Thank you for being here. I probably miss a few people. If you're new into my channel, please, again, type the word new in the chat. I would appreciate it so I'll know who you are. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie B. Whoops, I missed that one. It scrolls fast. Let's see. You are an inspiration. Love from Australia. Thank you, Pamela. Uh, hip hip hooray, Michelle. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, right, Mike. <laughs> Little pissy Willie, Mike is all, always new. And you didn't tell me happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> it's a joke, people. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Okay. So I think I'm pretty well caught up. At Captain Jack Scrappers is here, and RV Ashes in April is here. And let's see. Hello to all the new people. Yes, I appreciate all the new people, and I appreciate all the people that have been here for me all along. You guys mean so much to me. I have family. I have a family here. Somebody wants me to play a song. Karen Michelle would like to hear a song. Okay, here you go. Give me a second to get this. I will do that. It's not perfect, but I will do it. This is probably this is the most recent song I've written. I've written three songs. And I've done a lot of poetry. It's all on my channel. But I'll play this one for you. Here we go. It's a sad song. I wrote it during a time when I was feeling bad. Because everybody's been living in, in so much fear during this uh, pandemic. And I was feeling discouraged. I lived in fear my whole life. I don't live in fear anymore. But this po this song has a rel relationship to this. Oh, here we go. This song is a prayer to God. How did we get here, Lord, in a world with so much fear? If we call your name now, will you show us you still care? Can you hear me, Lord? Can you see me, Lord? When I read your word, you say you will. I have called your name, asking who's to blame for the world of shame. We live in now How did we get here, Lord In a world with so much fear If we call your name, Lord Will you show us that you care Are you watching, Lord are you listening now? Do you really see what's going on? Will you answer, Lord, with your power and sword? You promised me you gave your word. How did we get here, Lord, in a world with so much fear? If we call your name now, will you show us you still care? Listen to us, Lord. Will you show us how to call out your name? in this pain Do you see us, Lord? Are you really there? Please stop this shame and show you care How did we get here, Lord? In a world with so much fear If we call your name now Will you show us you still care? How did we get here, Lord? In a world with so much fear If we call your name now show us you still care can you hear me lord 
Well, there you go. <laughs> I do have a copyright on my songs. Uh, Boxman Boogie was played part of the song in the documentary, and also my poem, uh, My Daddy Was a Traveling Man, part of that poem was played in the documentary. Thank you for all your compliments. I'm glad you like the song. It's, it's, uh, it's my second favorite song. The one that I wrote uh, called Thank You, God, is my favorite song. I don't think I have it in here. Let me see if I do. If I do, I'll play it. I don't know if I do. I might have it. Okay, it's, this is not a very good uh, rendition of this song, but I'm going to play it anyhow, if you guys want to hear it. Let's see. We're running out of, out of time. If anybody wants to hear the song, thank you, God, please say, sing sing the song or something. Let me know in the chat. I'll watch watch it. I will play it. Yes, it is John James. Very appropriate. So let's see if anybody wants to see the song, Thank You, God. Song, song, okay. Song, Rayleigh wants to hear it. <laughs> Pamela wants to hear it. Karen, okay, here we go. Give me a second, I'll pull it up. So here we go. It's not great, but this is it. I hope you'll like this song. If you do, please share it on your social media. It's called Thank You, God. Thank you, God, for showing me How you intended for my life to be Thank you, God, for guiding me Into a world where I can be just me I love the mountains, the trees, and the streams I love the desert and wildlife it brings The freedom of my life allows me to roam Wherever I go, it becomes my new home I don't have much, but it is enough. My happiness doesn't depend on my stuff. The friends I have made are a treasure to me. These are the things that matter to me. Thank you, God, for showing me how you Intended for my life to be. Thank you, God, for guiding me into a world where I can be just me. Life is exciting, not easy for sure. Fresh air and sunshine, for my health is the cure. Out in God's nature, where there is less right. I am content to live a carefree life. Learning to thrive with a whole lot less. My life is full and free of stress. I love my God who has given to me Beauty and wonders so amazing to see He is my God to where I should be Just look around you and get out to see God is my strength inspiring to me I have become who he led me to be. Thank you, God, for showing me how you intended for my life to be. Thank you, God, for guiding me into 
a world where I can be just me. So there you have it. Um, so if anyone, anybody wins here, hear the box man Ben Boogie song, you'll hear it part of, most of it in the documentary, at least a good part of it. I want to thank everybody for coming. I'm running out of time, so I I could do a maybe I should do. Let me try to do a giveaway. I thank you everybody for the wonderful hearts and all the sweet things they're saying about me. I all I can tell you is you guys mean so much to me to me. You are my family, and I have a real family. My baby sister is in here in the, here in the live stream. In the documentary, the quilt that Ben slept on was made by my oldest sister for me. And so I do have support from my family. They weren't always there, but they are now. And I do appreciate it. I thank you so much. So let's do a giveaway so I can get off the emotional thing. Let me try to bring up a, a, a little uh, thing so we can get a prize giveaway. Uh, let's to to get the stream yard tool. So type in everybody want. I want you to type in Ben B E N. And I uh, was I did the wrong. Uh, that's the wrong. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> giveaway tool. Let's do it again. I'm trying to pull it up. I didn't know why it didn't work. Bear with me. Giveaway tool stream yard. Here it goes. Okay, type in the word Ben, B-E-N, and every, everybody that types in the word will be eligible for a, a prize. And I'll just type it in here for this, and I'll pull it up on StreamYard. So let's start collecting comments, and let's go in here and pull up on the screen. Share, and share... Uh, Whoops, share screen. Oh, well, let's see. Share screen. Chrome tab. Okay. And, whoops. Hang on. Giveaway to it. There we go. That should show up on the screen. Hopefully. <laughs> Is it there? Let's see. Yep, it's there. So, right now, we have a... Uh, 44 entries. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes so people can get their t word in typed in. And if you want to win a prize, you will have to email me to the email address I had. On. I'll put it back on the screen and after the, I draw the name and then we'll do a, a giveaway. What I'm going to give a giveaway is a $15 Amazon gift card. Um, so it, just when you email me, say winner of $15 Amazon gift card. So I will get that out to you right away. So here we go. Let's see how many people we have right now. We have 50 entries. And right now we have 100 people in the chat. So let's make sure everybody gets it in there. Anybody can use an Amazon card. And uh, it's good in the UK too, I think. So, um, yeah. So here we go. Let's see where are we at. We have 52 entries. I'm getting ready to draw the name. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. That's it. Good luck. JSK Enterprises, congratulations. You are the winner of the $15 Amazon gift card. So let's stop sharing that. And I'll put the uh, email address in the um, chat again. Let me do this. Hang on. Scroll across the bottom. Here we go. So that should work. It's going. There we go. Deluctin1 at gmail.com. Make sure you send me an email telling me you won the prize. I will get it out right away. Congratulations, JSK Enterprises. So, 
Uh, just type uh, something in the chat so we know you're still here. Uh, I know you are. Just did it. So do you have to be here? <laughs> so congratulations. Anybody I didn't have an opportunity to greet personally, please know that I try to catch as many people as I can. But I do know that my moderators greet everybody that comes in. Unless somehow they get missed somehow. But I I know at also not the just the moderators. Everybody in my chat is very supportive of each other. I want to thank you all for coming. And I want to make sure you go check out some of my moderators each week. Uh, so you can get to know them. And if you do YouTube live streams, maybe they'll moderate for you. So thank you again. I'm going to end this stream. We've been on for an hour. Again, I want to apologize to Gina Payne from uh, Van Life with Gina Payne for taking her time. I didn't think about it when I did it. And so I'm really sorry I did that. And I will be happy to give up my time next time. On Sundays, uh, I usually do a, used to do a live stream every week. I'm not doing live streams every week anymore. Um, thank you, Freebird, for being here. And um, I used to do live stream every Sunday. Now I'm just doing pop-ups. And will usually be in the evening. I will try not to do that on top of somebody else's stream again. I feel really bad. I love my community. And... Gina Payne is a very special person to me. So please know that. I did send her an email. And so I hopefully she will understand. I hope she can forgive me. Anyhow, I love you all. Thank you for coming. Congratulations to the winner. I want to play, as, as, as I leave, I want to play the two clips of thank yous to the members and the sh PayPal I mean, Super Chat gifts. I haven't named all the PayPal givers that I have. And so I will try to do that on my next live stream. But let me play this as we go. Say goodbye. So let me go in here. Play this again. So I want to make sure that I let people know I do appreciate them. So let's see. Right here. <laughs> Last thing I want to say, people, if you haven't watched the documentary, make sure you get to see it. And I want to tell you to tell somebody you love them every time you get a chance. Because tomorrow, tomorrow is not promised. We only have today. And everybody needs to know they are loved. I thank you so much. And next week I will, next time I do a live stream, I will shout out my PayPal givers. Uh, I do appreciate them. You have a great day. Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.